Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. I got a very exciting video for you guys today. In today's video, we are going to be going over some more leaked upcoming WWE action figures, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's video, we are specifically going to be going over Elite Series 85 and Elite Series 86. Now, I just want to say if you guys missed out on yesterday's late night upload, I uploaded last night at around 11 o'clock at night going over some leaked upcoming WWE action figure news. And I promise you guys are not going to want to miss that video. If you did miss it, please go back and check it out. There's some good figures coming our way on this list. And now today, we got even more upcoming WWE action figures to talk about, which is always beautiful. Like I said in yesterday's video, Every time we get leaks, it, it just happens all at once. Leaks come out and then a few videos. It's it, it just always crazy. But I do have to say before we actually get into the news, I'm a little bit disappointed. Guys, I didn't think it would ever happen again. Your boy Unstable1047 has been on a hot streak for the longest amount of time. Now, I'm always number one when it comes to the action figure news videos. I always post first, always try and give you guys the best information. And I finally got beat today. People are already uploading the video on Elite Series 85 and 86. So I just want to go ahead and apologize to the beautiful people because it is my fault. I honestly could have had this video out hours ago because I knew about this hours ago. We're going to give a shout out to the gentleman who let me know about this information in a quick second. But uh, just note to self, Christian, next time. Make the video about the leaked action figures the second you find out. Because honestly, guys, I was toy hunting this morning. Didn't think the, the word would get around as quickly as it did. But it did, ladies and gentlemen. But that's just the way of the game sometimes. Sometimes you get beat. But don't you worry, guys. I'm going to make it up to you guys in the future with these upcoming WWE action figure news video. You know your boy is the best when it comes to the news information about the action figures. Uh, but enough of that. I feel like I had something else to say. Maybe I do. Oh, I should have a beautiful toy hunt video for you guys up tomorrow. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what I found. But you're not going to want to miss the toy hunt video. That's honestly what I was doing this morning. But enough talking. I know you guys hate it when I talk too much. Let's just finally get straight into the video. I got to give a shout out though. Let's try and zoom in right here without messing anything up. Got to give a shout out to JJ. Zargon. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your last name. Please correct me down in the comment section below. But if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have known about this this morning. Guys, when I woke up, I had a message from him. I don't know the exact time he messaged me. He probably messaged me, you know, probably uh, in the middle of the night. I, I don't know. I should go back and check it. But make sure you guys go head over to his Instagram page and say thank you for letting us know about this beautiful information. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this information for you guys. So thank you to JJ, but we're going to zoom out now very carefully. And then we're going to actually, you could obviously see the leaks right there, but we're going to get into the smaller images. Then we're going to go over the images of the figures we already have. And then we're going to talk about the other possible attires and things of that nature. But this is going to be Elite Series 85, Karrion Cross, Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black, Chase. He's going to be the Chase, which is amazing. The Undertaker, Becky Lynch. Liv Morgan and Kama, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we already knew about care. We basically, this, we did a leaked elite lineup video. I don't even remember about Elite Series 85. It was months ago, you know, probably three, four, five months ago, somewhere around there. And it was honestly almost accurate. Of course, every elite line and basic line and things like that, they're always subject to change. But there's only a few that is actually different from the original so i'm glad that much has not changed of course you know do we really need another bray white do we need another becky lynch not really but you know uh, all the elite lines are, are not going to always be figures that we want. There's always going to be, you know, that one or two that we're all like, blah. Uh, but yeah, we already have images of Carrion. We have images of Alistair, not the Chase. We have images of The Undertaker, Liv Morgan, and the Kama. So let's get into those first. First up, we already have the images, like I said, Carrion Cross, which is beautiful. And we have that beautiful Boneyard Undertaker, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and in one of the leaks, we are getting another Carrion Cross. That's a little um, hint for you guys if you missed 
out on yesterday's video. Go back and check it out. But yeah, we are getting another carrying cross. Uh, but this Elite is beautiful. Can't wait to get it. Can't wait to get that Undertaker as well. Next up, we have the Liv Morgan. And this was originally, if I remember right, this was the original Collector's Edition. Yes, now that I'm remembering this, when the, when the leaks first came out, she was originally gonna be the collector's edition it has changed which is always good news you know the collector's edition are always a pain to come across in stores unless you get them online of course but this Liv Morgan is absolutely beautiful if you missed out on her first collector's edition you get another chance at it so that is great great news next up we have the Aleister Black which is a phenomenal figure I love all the Aleister Black figures we have gotten so far they are just beautiful I love the entrance attire. It's just the just that the vest. The, the would you call that an entrance vest or an entrance jacket? I don't know. You guys correct me in the comment section below. But I'm very curious to see what the chase is gonna be. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below because that's the only figure in this video where I didn't go ahead and pick an attire on what it could possibly be so you guys do your work down in the comment section below and then we have the comma which of course is the collector's edition for this series next up of course in this lineup we have Bray Wyatt now <laughs> oh my god guys they're just they are coming out with way too many Bray Wyatt's and the Fiend Elites I'm, I'm hoping after Elite 85 and Elite 86 that they finally stop because we got an Elite Fiend we got an Elite Top Picks Fiend. We got an Ultimate Edition Fiend. We got a Bray Wyatt as a ringside exclusive, you know, of course. Uh, we got a, uh, a Fiend Basic. We got a Bray Wyatt Basic. We're getting another Elite in Elite 85. We're getting another Elite in Elite 86. Mattel, you got, you got to stop. I know you like doing this. You know that one person, they get popular, and then all of a sudden, you want to make 30 figures of the person, but you, you, you really you don't have to do it. I mean, this is overkill at this point, but Bray Wyatt, what more can they really do? We're going to get Bray Wyatt with, you know, uh, black pants and the, the blue title. I mean, I really can't think of anything else that they could do at this time, guys. L let me know, but I'm definitely passing on it. I already have the Fiend Bray Wyatt SummerSlam Elite. I already got um, the Ultimate Edition coming real soon. It's just, it's 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 enough of the Fiend and Bray Wyatt. I, it, we we oh my, I'll I'll just leave it at that. Uh, but then Becky Lynch, we got Becky Lynch. Um, does she really need to be in this line? Not really. You know, we haven't seen her on TV, of course, because she's been pregnant. She recently had the baby. Uh, but again, we got to remember that elites take a year to make, and then they got to go in the right lineup. So this obviously was in production way before i'm sure before she got pregnant before anyone knew but we're getting another becky lynch lead which attire could it be i personally just don't know i went with this image right here because it had a cool jacket um would we get this jacket as an elite probably not because it has all those buttons on it and i, d I doubt they're going to want to do that for a regular elite becky lynch but hey you never know you know mattel has been going uh they've been doing some pretty cool stuff lately with the elite so i could be eating my words when we see the actual image but uh becky lynch i guess kind of cool but not not a choice that i would have picked uh, but now on to Elite Series 86. Now, if you guys remember in the other day's video, I already did mention and tell you guys that this is going to be the SummerSlam wave. So if you missed that video, I just gave you the information. But this is going to be the SummerSlam wave, Seth Rollins, The Fiend Bray Wyatt, Sid Justice, Triple H, The Miz, Carmella, and Mustafa, ladies and gentlemen. So that is really, really interesting cool i'm very very excited shout out to dean joseph toy vlogs uh dean if you watch my videos i already told you pop finder is not working but i'll message you right after this video uh, but seth rollins that's really really awesome we already know which attire that is going to be which i'm excited for uh um the fiend bray white i just talked about him sid justice we haven't got a sid or psycho sid in quite some time so that is beautiful Triple H, we already know what that looks like. The Miz, which is interesting. I'm getting comments all of a sudden. The Miz, very interesting. Carmella, we already knew about her. And Mustafa as the Target Exclusive Collector's Edition. Now, we have to talk about this really, really quickly, guys. Carmella, if you guys remember, I we did the leaked action figures, I think, recently with her in it. And she was originally supposed to be the Chase figure. But like I said, guys, always subject to change. So Carmella obviously is not going to be the Chase anymore. Uh, that's obviously going to be Triple H. Uh, but we do 
possibly know what the attire is going to... Well, we do know what the attire is going to be. I, I f forget what I just said. Uh, but now we're going to get into it. But Mustafa, that's like mind-blowing to me because we are going to... We are getting that Iron Sheik soon. And now we're going to get the Mustafa, of course. Uh, we all know him as the Iron Sheik. Now are we going to get the final person of that beautiful group? I, I know you guys know who I'm talking about. If you don't, just, just look on Google. It's very, very easily. I should have just went ahead and added a picture of the whole group, but I didn't want to confuse anyone. But let's get into it finally. Triple H, of course, you got the regular on the left, the chase on the right. Finally, it took them way too long to come out with this attire, if you ask me. But um, I'm hoping they change that face because I feel like they came out with that head scan like two or three times now. And I, I don't like when they use the same face over and over and over. But Triple H chase, really cool attire. Next up, of course, you know, Mustafa, the Iron Sheik. We already saw images of uh, the Sergeant Slaughter that is, uh, that is in this attire right here. I'm burping. I'm out of breath. You know, guys, it, it gets tiring talking for 10 minutes straight, just over and over, as excited as I get with these action figures. I don't know how to control myself sometimes. I see the comments. You're always like, what's up with your breathing? I just get too excited, guys. And then when I'm doing the voiceover, I'm just walking around when I should be sitting down because, of course, I'm walking around and I'm going to get out of breath. Oh, I got to go on a diet, ladies and gentlemen. But the, <laughs> the Iron Cheek, Mustafa, he is coming out very, very soon. Why is this playing on my TV? Uh, but but he's going to be a part of the SummerSlam wave, which is really, really interesting. And I just screwed up. I should have used the SummerSlam picture of him instead of the 2K16 one. But that's the clearest image I could find of him, even though it's kind of like a cartoon image. But uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. We're getting him, which is beautiful. And then, of course, the Seth Rollins, which I know a lot of people are going to be excited for. Now, I'm hoping... I'm really, really hoping that, you know, of course, the extra hands, I'm sure it's not going to be an actual glove. It's just going to be an extra hand painted, of course, black with the hand. They did that, you know, on other figures as well. I'm hoping that it comes with the jacket, you know, with the fur in it. I don't know if they'll be able to come. I'm sure it's not. It's not going to. It's going to be like molded on. I doubt they're going to use cloth or anything for that. But even if it does come, it doesn't come with the jacket. I think I still think a lot of people are going to be excited because that attire is beautiful. Love the pink love the black i always love attires in that color so that is going to be really really cool figure to get next up on the list the fiend once again what could i do it's going to be the fiend with the blue title again guys i i don't want to go on another rant with this we really don't need another figure of him it's overkill at this point like i said uh, I'm sure I'm sure there's a lot of fiend collectors out there that are going to get it but I know for me and I'm sure for a lot of other people they're just gonna, they're they're not going to buy it they're just going to be why uh, but next up, we have Sid Justice, ladies and gentlemen. No, we did get um, Sid Justice in a basic line. We got Psycho Sid in an elite line. And now we're getting him again in the SummerSlam line, ladies and gentlemen. Now, is it going to be a ref Sid? How cool it would it look if they actually gave him that, be that beautiful ref tank top? That sounded way wrong. I, I should have worded that better. But how cool it would it be if we get the Psycho Sid as the ref? That would be so, so awesome when he was the special guest referee i think a lot of people uh, would love that now would would this be the choice now i'm getting comments on youtube would this be the choice for uh if you were if you were mattel would you have saved sid for the summer slam line or would you have saved them for you know uh, for example the next line and use the different attire you guys let me know i'm sure there's other attires of sid you would have loved to have but that's up to you everyone has their own opinion let me know down in the comment section below Next up on the list, we have Carmella, and like I said before, and like I said in the other news video that we did, she was originally supposed to be the Chase, and it was supposed to be a 2018 version. This is the SummerSlam, uh, SummerSlam line. Uh, this SummerSlam line, this was her attire at 2018 SummerSlam line, and now is supposed to be the Chase. Now, if Mattel is smart, they'll keep this as the version and just put it in the line as this because this attire let me just say again black and pink always sticks out you know you got the cheetah you got everything with this mattel if you're smart you will keep this uh, i'm interested uh, interested to see if you will actually include the jacket and sweatpants as well um i i, I really want to see if this does turn out to be the attire if they had the glasses too I, i'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out because this could definitely be a special special elite but i'm glad we're getting a 
another figure of Carmella. I really like Carmella. Uh, but yeah, please uh, continue to be this attire. And I'm really, really excited to see how it turns out. Next up, we have The Miz, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Miz was not at 2020 or 2019 SummerSlam. He was at 2018 SummerSlam. We already got that... Um, in figure form, we we got his 2016 attire in figure form. So is it going to be a flashback maze from SummerSlam? That's always the hope, at least for me. You guys know me. Even though it's, I know some people wouldn't consider it a flashback for you know current stars and things like that. But for I'm still gonna consider it a flashback. If it's from 10 years ago, we'll just call it a flashback because why not? You know, it's not the first time Mattel has done something like that. But I'm really hoping it does turn out to be a flashback. Miz, there are still many many choices of Miz attires that I would like to see. Miz, I love you. One of my favorites. Beautiful. I know a lot of people would disagree with me, but I love the Miz so much. But cool to see him back in the line. But as of right now, I'm kind of on... I'm kind of iffy with it until I see which attire they end up going for. If they end up using the basic that we got at, as this attire, I'm going to be really, really disappointed. That's just me. Maybe you guys will like it, but but I'm going to I'm gonna stay optimistic until we see the actual images of it. But that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I do want to apologize for being late with the action figure news. I promise never to do, to do that again, uh, but uh, just, just stay tuned. I will make it up to you guys somehow. But if you guys enjoy this video if you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up video uh, thumbs up button if you are a new viewer please subscribe for more i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys next time